Dear colleagues and friends, welcome to the IEA's Atoms for Climate Pavilion at COP30. Each year, our presence grows stronger. Together, we show how nuclear energy, science and technology help to build a safer, cleaner and more resilient world. Momentum for nuclear power is building. Real progress has happened since the historic global consensus in COP28's stock take, which for the first time stated the need to accelerate the deployment of nuclear power alongside other low carbon energy sources. More countries have joined the pledge towards tripling global nuclear capacity, with banks and technology companies also supporting the effort. In Asia, China and India are implementing big construction programs. Bangladesh will soon generate its first nuclear electricity. In North America, the United States plans to quadruple capacity by 2050. In Europe, countries that had phase-outs just a few years ago have turned back to nuclear. From the UK to the countries in the eastern part of Europe, plans for adding capacity are progressing. France, where nuclear is big and growing, has announced it will host our second nuclear energy summit next year. In Latin America, Argentina is advancing its work on small modular reactors and Brazil's plans are progressing. In Africa, Egypt will soon join South Africa in producing nuclear power and many other countries are moving towards their first reactors. The IEA is the global hub of support. We have launched key initiatives. Atoms for Net Zero connects nuclear solutions with Net Zero goals. The Nuclear Sourcing Hub supports access to supply chains. And our SMR platform helps countries plan and deploy advanced reactors. This year, the IEA and the World Bank signed a landmark agreement. For the first time in decades, the World Bank will back nuclear projects. Other international financial institutions have followed suit, and I am confident this growing momentum will continue. Nuclear technology not only mitigates climate change, it also allows us to adapt. Isotope hydrology helps manage scarce water resources. Irradiation helps us develop drought tolerant crops. Sterile insect technique controls pests without the need for chemicals. Radionuclides measure soil erosion and ocean change. Through these tools, the IEA supports countries in achieving progress in healthcare, in water management, in energy and food security, in agricultural and industrial development, and in fighting pollution on land, air and sea. Fusion energy is making exciting progress. The IEA's World Fusion Energy Group brings together governments, research institutions, academia and industry. It supports cooperation and knowledge sharing. Together with partners like ITER, we are helping to move fusion from the lab to the grid. Just a few years ago, nuclear energy had no place at the COP table. Today, it is central to the conversation. In the coming days here in Belém, we will host several events, as we have done in the past COPs. These will show how nuclear energy and technology help fight and tackle the climate crisis. Join us and be part of the solution, this solution that is real, is proven and is scalable. Thank you very much.